light. Don't want anything in the background because you don't want YouTube to get upset at anything. Oh, I'm getting so tired of YouTube. As you can tell, because I'm not posting anything. And today I was going to do something and I've run out of time. So this is the thing. I'm just going to do a little update on the trick-or-treat stuff. Mandy Lion. A couple of people have tried to contact me concerning the story and stuff of Mandy, and they've wanted to tell me things about Mandy. But, because of the extreme... How do I say this so I don't get thrown off? YouTube, I think, is getting a little carried away. They're, get, they're gearing up for an upcoming event. And uh, they're monitoring every single thing you post. Someone posted something very innocent, but they mentioned religious, a religious thing. They blocked it. I can't talk to the guy. He can't talk to me. Is that right? Where's freedom of speech? You know, this is, this is really wrong what YouTube is, is starting to do. And it's not just me, uh, you know, but they're subtly doing this. And if they keep <laughs> knocking me back and knocking me back, I'm finally up to 800 subscriptions or subscribers. I need to get to 1,000. Now, this one guy said, you know, I hate people always asking for me to hit the subscribe or like button. I hate saying it. But... Unless I, unless you have 1,000 subscribers, or more, they want more, but minimum 1,000, they're not going to help you. They're not going to push your videos. They're going to do all sorts of censoring and blocking, and that's just a fact. They might block this. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? I'm sure they won't push it because they have a, you know, when you send a video in, there's all as soon as it, you are uploading that video, they start to it runs through different things and uh, catches certain words, certain phrases. They're supposed to be monitoring for copyright content as far as music, but they used to do it all the time. I used to put up my songs and they'd say, "Oh, you know, this is a copyright infringement. This is, you know, Elton John or something." I'm like, "Really?" Doesn't sound like Elton John at all. And then I would uh, fight it and they would take it down. But uh, they're just getting really hard to work with. So I want to stay with it, but I think I'm going to try some other uh, platforms. If any of you have suggestions and there's things that you go to, I have no idea what Patreon or whatever that is. I don't know. But people keep telling me to look into it. I don't know what it is. And I'm sure nobody will tell me. If you want, would like to, please do. If not, then don't. Pretty easy, huh? Uh, I'm just going to jam for a few minutes until I can think of something else to talk about. Oh, the Mandy thing. So I have been getting some feedback on that. The trouble is they're really cracking down on limiting almost anything that you say. If it seems like to them, it could be sort of taken the wrong way, boop, you can't even contact the other person. You can see the comment, but you can't reply, nothing. And there's this one guy, I can't remember, but he was trying to tell me that he had an experience with Mandy. And when Mandy found out that he'd uh, found the truth, let's just say, Mandy dumped him as a friend immediately now, Mandy's very he doesn't get a lot of things he's not a smart guy he's not intelligent that's why I'm like oh please don't do the lion's den because you don't know what you're talking about and if anybody agrees with you they're just as uninformed let's <laughs> wow see how politically correct I'm trying to be I hate that political correctness is tyranny with manners Charlton Heston. So, that'll probably get blocked just because I said that. But who knows? Let's just find out. What would you like me to play? I know you don't want me to play much. <laughs>
So I got the other one, creeping sensation, and then there'll be like a... In fact, I might use my sustainiac to do that. Hold that note. Uh, at the end of that song, I'm doing uh, outro leads, and I can hold that note, and that will go into when I start doing this. Because it'll start off with two tracks of acoustic, and then two tracks of that, and it'll be just a little off to make it sound eh because it's called Eternal Darkness. It's not a happy song. But it's made from two different songs and uh, with my input. So there you go. That's it, Katrina. That is the song Eternal Darkness. Those thing that play, you know, blah, and it's done. Your words fit into it. I made them fit the old words to Eternal Darkness. I haven't done anything with your new words. Try to send, send something more uplifting. Because this is a mini uh, concept of, you know, going into basically just getting sucked into the whole music thing, which is a, way more than just getting into a band and playing and da-da-da. You could become an alcoholic, drug addict, sex addict, whatever. You get sucked into eternal darkness, and it seems like there's no way out. But then there's the song. Which one it's going to be, I don't know. Right now it's Run For Your Life, but that's too big of a jump from that slow to the next one. <laughs> That's it. Uh, if you want to talk about Mandy, watch what you say. Not because it's any, you know, he is, uh, 
And then somebody else said, you know, that Mandy guy, he, you know, he's a full of crap. <laughs> but there's another guy, have you ever heard of? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you said his name because, yes, he is a pathological liar. He's all over the internet. I've known him for, for years, but I'm trying to distance myself, kind of, because people are turning on him, and I can't defend him anymore. So... You know, if you lie, especially on the internet, it's too easy to be called out. All you got to do is look stuff up. Like, the, you know, when I posted that Randy Rhodes video like a million years ago. Not a million, 11 years ago, I think. Uh, there's your uh, harmonica for the night official fender um yeah i said yeah that guy is also mainly i mean not mainly extremely full of it and everything he says is bull crap and it's i can prove it with mandy though at least he had a shot at success and he did get signed to a label but he got booted off the label and the iron maiden tour after the second show in Irvine, I was there. And all of the band members, except for him, went on to bigger and better things. Vinny Apache and Tracy G went to Dio. Uh, Jimmy Bain, I don't know what the hell he did. He drank a lot. I think he went back and played with a few other bands. But they all went on, and Mandy disappeared for ten years. Because... And I know the whole story, and I'm not going to tell it because it's completely, from what I hear, because I haven't read his Wikipedia site, but I know, but from what I've been told, it's all wrong. It doesn't mention the first band he was in, my band, Trick or Treat, at all. It says he came over here when he was like 16, when he, which he wasn't. He was 22, 21, 22, 23, I don't know, I can't remember, but he was around my age. So we were all around the same age in 1987, which is 22, 23. So he's full of it there. He was in my band, bought out by the guys that would be become Kingdom Come. But they heard him, the management, and said, he's not a singer, that's not Robert Plant, get him the hell out. So he's booted out. He started another band with one of the guitar players called Guns For Hire. They played a couple shows, went nowhere uh then about a year went by and then he met up with that chet thompson guy or chet Th whatever his name is really good guitar player he could play his guitar upside down you know do this stuff and everybody had a gimmick my gimmick was i could play guitar standing up so you know this i don't want this to go on to another mandy rant but i just want to clear up some stuff but i really don't want to waste the time but just long story short he's full of crap his whole history is lies and when people say they are an open book they're liars because <laughs> no one's an open book i don't tell you everything about me but i would i don't think you want to hear everything about me what do i do every day most of my day is spent working out and then doing stuff on the internet to uh my company my job because I don't, you know, after the accident, they said I'd never work again, so I had to prove them wrong there. And then I had to find my own, you know, way to make money. And I was lucky because I was making a lot of money, so I had stuff, you know, set aside. Otherwise, why could I, how could I have all these stupid, stupid guitars and amps and all this stuff? Which I might start dumping quickly. So if anybody knows of a guitar they want, let me know. No pick. 
fingers. I'm gonna let my fingernails grow out so I can. This one's too long. This is just a Randy Rhodes thing, but let them grow out so I can do that beginning better. using a pick all right so if you got any questions comments please say something if you don't don't but I could really use a little more direction on what you guys want me to do so we can just so I hit 800 subscribers today 800 I need 200 more and they'll stop bothering me and they'll start paying me that's why I don't I'm not like please subscribe to me cuz I uh, so it looks like people like, no, they won't let me continue and grow without the subscribers. Simple. I need a one, I need 1,000. So that's why they tell you, tell them to please hit, hit that like button and, and subscribe if you like my, it's right there. They tell you how to do everything. That kind of uh, takes away from creativity, doesn't it? There's a guy that has figured out how to slap him. So he goes, slap my face if you like me. So if you, you know, swipe across his face, slapping him, that hits the subscribe button. Brilliant idea. I didn't think of that. I wish I did. But there you go. See you later. I can talk all night. I'm not going to keep metal going. And don't forget the ones that started this metal guitar crap. I mean, our generation of metal. Rhodes, Van Halen, those guys are just going away. People don't know who they are anymore. They're, eh. The bands out now, the new bands out, suck. And then if they do like some, you know, that like I just saw some crappy ass band with a singer, girl singer, and like a 12 year old guitar player, but he wasn't playing, obviously. It was another guy in there playing, but he wasn't playing in the video. You could tell because he had the crazy train. They played crazy train. The guitar was really good, but the guy was just flopping around like an idiot. So maybe they were just playing. I know they were playing live on the, it's on a pier, I think. I'm not going to give out too much, but if you're going to do stuff like that, really... You're putting a lot of effort into a cover song that everybody's done. So what are you going to do? It better? You can't do Crazy Train better. You could, but it would be very, 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 very difficult. I would try doing something else. But the fact that they're... And they don't even know. This is a tribute to Ozzy to them. They don't mention Randy at all. Randy wrote that song. He wrote that. And with the help of Bob Daisley, who, you know, helped him put it together. But Randy came up with all of the licks, all of the music, all of the guitar crap. Randy. He just blew up. <clears throat> Huge difference from when he was in Quiet Riot, man. Just day and night. Night and day. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Metal, 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 metal. Subscribe. Please, because they're forcing me to say that. And comment, just because I want to know that I'm getting across to somebody. Nobody can bug me too much. Like, there's one guy like, sorry about... No, don't be sorry. Please keep commenting, even if it's just you. All right? Later. <laughs>